Man, what is good, my family? This is your boy, D, coming back at you with another video. Man, I want to holler at y'all about, you know, fake-ass friends and shit like that. Now, we all done come across this issue, and we gonna continue to come across this issue because sometimes that's the way a lot of these fake-ass people are, you feel me? And we all either got people in our lives or had people in our lives that, you know, be on that fake ass shit to the point where they probably don't even like us. You feel what I'm saying? It's probably some type of toleration bullshit or some shit like that. So I just wanted to holler at y'all about the whole fake ass friends and how to spot out fake ass friends, because let's just keep it real. We all have had a fake ass friend or two in our lives, and we probably had to get rid of the motherfuckers at a certain point of our lives. So we going to get into this shit right now. Now, first and foremost, as I just mentioned, like over the years as i've gotten older i've come to realize something very important when it comes to fake ass friends and shit like that is that friendship and toleration are two very different fucking things man if y'all fucking with people that are just tolerating you man i swear to god just quit fucking with those people those people are very annoying and then on top of that like i said it's toleration so it's really like they don't even like you, but I really don't understand why people be on that toleration bullshit. Like, why would you tolerate somebody you don't like? It's almost like they, you know, they're in your life for a certain type of reason. They don't like you, but they continue to be in your life and continue to bother you for whatever type of reason, which I really don't fucking understand. But uh, yeah, that toleration bullshit, man, if y'all coming across people like that, man, get them type of motherfucking people out of your life because, hey, we've all been through it. I've been through it. I've had people in my life to where they claimed that they was cool with me and shit like that, but they was really just tolerating me for whatever type of reason. You know what I'm saying? Man, fuck that toleration bullshit. Man, what you see is what you get. You either cool with me or you ain't, man. Don't tolerate me. If you don't like me, get the fuck away from me. Why are you torturing your damn self? So that whole toleration bullshit, man, if y'all coming across motherfuckers like that, that, that say that they cool with you, but you realize that they tolerating you, man, get them people out of your life. Yeah, and then you got your one-way street type of motherfuckers, and y'all, I know y'all heard this shit before, man, this whole thing with the one-way street type shit, you know, people will expect so much of you, they would expect 100% out of you, but then when it comes to them, when you ask them for them, they ain't nowhere to be found, and then also, too, the one-way street bullshit, you can kind of spot out conniving-ass people, too, like motherfuckers that be on that fake ass shit where they ask you or something and and you help them out three or four times and then that one time where you know you can't help them you be like hey man sorry i can't do it you know what they gonna do they gonna turn around and tell you some dumb ass shit like you know what that's the reason why i don't kick it with you that's the reason this and that's the reason that man fuck you and then they get all mad at you i hate them type of fucking people even though you know that's one way street but at the same time that's conniving shit too but still it's like a one way street because when they ask you something and if you don't do it they'll let you know right there they a fake ass friend and they don't even fucking like you like that my thing if you ask and if i say either no i don't got it you gotta accept that and then when it's the other way around when you ask them it's automatically no they automatically got fucking excuses i can't stand motherfucking people like that them was some real fake ass friends that one-way street bullshit if y'all dealing with them type of people hey them type of people are fraudulent they fake ass people them the type of people that need to get their ass kicked for real because how you gonna ask me for something you know and i help you out and then ask me again and then i can't help you because i may have a situation going you know what i'm saying or i'll tell them like you know hit me up whenever hit me up here and then i'll probably can help you then they cussing you out because you didn't help them but they never help you man i hate them type of people you all dealing with them type of people that's some fake ass friend bullshit that one-way street conniving bullshit man get those type of people out of your life man them are the type of people too them are the type of people that'll fucking rat on you if something crucial were to go down so you don't want to fuck with them type of one-way street type of motherfuckers man get them motherfuckers out of your life then you got the type of so-called the the fake ass friends where they will show favoritism towards other friends over you and what i mean by that is if you were that particular friend and you know for a fact that you was doing the most 
and you was helping this friend out and you was there for that particular friend and that friend turn around and show fucking favoritism and treating all of the other friends like they more important and shit like that that's a fucked up priority issue with that friend that friend doesn't have you on their priority list and you need to take them off of yours and the reason for it is is because if you were that friend that was doing the most you should be that friend that they should you know be able to trust the most but since they don't have you on that priority list to me that's kind of like some trust bullshit going on like they don't trust you or they probably just don't even like you like that so like i said like them type of friends too them type of friends you got to put them on notice now me personally if they showing favoritism like that one thing i would do i would just disappear and then if they hit you up just be casual with them like you know because for for the thing about it is especially what if it was a friend you grew up with and then they start showing that favoritism that shit will hurt that shit will cut deep like a fucking knife because like damn you know i grew up with this person now they showing favoritism and shit like that they don't want to listen to you or you know you try to give them advice they don't want to listen to you for some odd reason but they want to come and ask you for some shit they want to come and ask you for a dollar they want to come and ask to borrow your fucking car and shit but then they turn around and want to show favoritism like you not even fucking important that's a priority issue that friend does not have you on their priority list drop them from yours now if you got a friend or friends that be on that bullshit where like you know you kind of find out like they don't invite you to things like you know say for instance if they don't have if they have a birthday party or some shit or just a casual type of get together or some type of holiday party or some shit and you're just never invited to those type of things man sorry man hey them motherfucking people right there they are not your fucking friends because that's just straight bullshit and like i said especially if you were that close friend that did a lot of things for them why the fuck are they not inviting you to a get together or a holiday get together or a birthday that's just straight bullshit right there that's some fake ass friends and that's some phony ass shit and then on top of that too they end up not inviting you to shit and then they turn around and still want to ask you for shit and, you know it's all fucking bullshit that's just fake ass friend bullshit and you know um a lot of people have been through some shit like that and you end up hearing from some type of great father oh I man you realize that they had a party or last week or some shit like that and you be like nah didn't nobody tell me yeah that's a fucked up ass feeling right there that'll let you know right there you dealing with some fake ass friends and you need to tell them motherfucking people bye bye as a matter of fact tell them goodbye because they ain't shit so there y'all have it my family man as i said before man fake ass friends ain't shit fake ass friends will complicate your life and let's just face it fake ass friends really ain't your friends at all all they are is just some type of conniving motherfuckers that are looking to benefit themselves off of you we already know how that fucking game go so uh like right now hey we gotta say no to fake ass friends and that shit is old and motherfuckers don't got time for it we got shit to do we got goals we want to reach fuck the fake ass friends because they ain't about no fucking goals so uh let me know in the comment section y'all thoughts and y'all feelings about fake ass friends and shit let me know if y'all had any kind of you know fucked up encounters with a so-called friend that was obviously phony and fake so uh thank y'all for listening this is your boy demetrius i'm gonna get back at y'all in the next video god bless be safe peace